When sedimentary rocks form, they pile up and create layers of rock. Once these layers build up, they begin to put tremendous pressure on each other. This pressure, combined with heat from Earth's interior, is going to change these rocks into metamorphic rocks. This change can happen in one of two ways. Regional metamorphism, which means it happens over a large area, so the pressure is very intense. Or contact metamorphism, where the pressure is less intense since the change happens with contact with magma. Shale is a sedimentary rock that through increased regional metamorphism will change to slate, then to phyllite, then to schist, then to gneiss. Through increased heat and pressure, the minerals in the rock shale are going to change into different rocks. A few things will happen to metamorphic rocks, including that the minerals will recrystallize since they are exposed to new heat. Also, this causes foliation, which is where the minerals begin to line up and eventually form bands of the same minerals. Not all regional metamorphism is going to have foliation. For example, bituminous coal, when it changes into anthracite coal, it's not going to have foliation. The second type of metamorphism is called contact metamorphism, where various rocks will be changed by the heat from nearby magma. For example, the rock hornfells will only be made through contact metamorphism. Other metamorphic rocks that don't have foliation but can be formed by both regional and contact metamorphism are quartzite, marble, and metaconglomerate. So to summarize the rock cycle, when rock that melts into magma cools and solidifies, it becomes igneous rock. Those rocks can be broken into sediments and eventually they get deposited and buried. They then compact and cement together into sedimentary rocks. Eventually you have layers that build up and through heat and pressure, the crystals reform into metamorphic rock. With enough heat and pressure on the metamorphic rock, it can then melt back into magma and if it cools, well then you start the process over again with igneous rock. That's all you need to know for today. Tomorrow we are going to complete a rock cycle as part of our final work. But for today, please make sure to answer the questions in the form below correctly. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.